Hello everybody, Perry here at Sundance 2019 and I am super excited to be talking to the director of The Hole in the Ground and his stars right now and we're really lucky to be here and we have to thank Kia Telluride because we're going to cover a whole bunch of movies so huge thanks to them for making this happen. I want to welcome Lee, James, and Shauna to our interview suite right now. I am so happy to have you, and I think you already know how much I love your movie, The Hole in the Ground. Oh, thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Great to be here. Is it a first time Sundance experience happening right now? Yeah, first time in Sundance. For, for all, all of us. us. Actually, yeah, for all <laughs> of us, yeah. <laughs> Did the first, anyone first time they've let us out of the country together, I think. Oh. Yeah. Well, we're very happy to have <laughs> you here. Did you get any uh, Sundance tips or pointers, especially before your big premiere last night? Wow. Um, Dress warmly, which I did not pack for. But the weather's amazing today. So drink lots of water, which, yeah. which I did, but I still got altitude sickness somehow. So, yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm 90% water currently, Wait, but I'm I feeling better. I need to know what happens so that I you, know you, you if it's really, happening You really today. don't need to know. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, you seem okay. I yeah. Can, I can vouch that you seem um, okay. I have a lot of coffee in my system and not a lot of water, so I'm still a little concerned, but That'll keep you going. I don't know, I'm still yeah. standing right now. <laughs> Has it been for you so far, James? Uh, yeah, it's been a really good experience and I've enjoyed it all the way. Good, I'm glad to hear it. So before I jump into all of my specific questions, because I have many questions about the making of this movie, I want to leave it to you so I don't spoil anything or go too far. Can you explain to our viewership what The Hole in the Ground is about? Yeah, of course. So The Hole in the Ground is a psychological horror movie about a young single mother who uh, moves out to the countryside, uh, played by Shauna here, and um, brings her little boy James, uh, uh, who plays Chris, out to the countryside in Ireland. and. Near the house, they discover this enormous sinkhole in the earth, like this really big hole in the ground. And James's behavior starts to shift after that point. And, uh, and Sarah starts to wonder about the identity and behavior of her boy. She goes down this, this kind of rabbit hole of doubt that takes her further and further into darker and darker territory. I guess I can't say much more without ruining it. Probably an appropriate place to stop. Yeah, yeah. Um, first feature for you, sure. and if you already know how much I love Ghost Train, I'm very curious, why make your feature debut with this particular story? Because I could get it funded, I guess. Like you know, uh, like uh, no, I w I'd worked on a number of things, but it was a story I was quite passionate about. Um, particularly the dynamics of the relationship. I just thought there was something really interesting to mine in there, um, and there was a great mystery to be told. Um, and I had been working on a couple of other ideas, but this was the one kind of in, the, in that race that just that just jumped ahead and felt like the right thing to do. Does one of those other ideas happen to be a feature adaptation for Ghost Train? I actually because finished the draft three months ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was one of the greatest things you could have said right now. <laughs> I also want to know about the three of you coming together here. Was it a traditional audition process or are we talking a whole bunch of uh, chemistry reads too? Because the connection between you two feels so real right out the gate and I was so impressed by that. Yeah, like I guess I, I suppose I should answer that question in terms of how, how the guys came together. Like uh, I'd written the character of Sarah originally and maybe not, 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 not as it should have been. Uh, she was a little bit too on the nose and I was looking at actors that maybe weren't kind of correct. And I'd been living abroad and I'd missed the movie that Shauna was in, but my producer said, you've got to watch this, A Day for Mad Mary. And I watched it and I was like, okay, let's stop looking. This is who we need to go get. And then I met Shauna and then I rewrote the script with Shauna in mind because she's such a great internal charisma and how she kind of behaves as Sarah. And then with James, we looked at, you know, a number uh, of young performers, but he was always just hunting everybody down all the time. He was always in the mix. Um, and then we did do a chemistry test, but it was very, very clear, you know, that uh, that it was going to be kind of James and Shauna. And then we kind of did some mother and son time and allowed you guys to get to know each other and hung out a little bit and, and did some rehearsals. So it was a great process. For me, it was actually really easy because quite quickly I was like, yep, that's them. Let's go. What was uh, your first impression of the script? Actually, to backtrack a little, are you both horror movie fans? <laughs> You can be honest. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't usually watch horror movies, <laughs> but uh, from from last night watching the Home on the Ground, it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be, so it was mm. fine, yeah. What's Not the scariest movie you've ever seen? Mm. <laughs> I don't really watch them that much. I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to tell you off the top of my head. Was it scary on set or is it okay because you know it's all fake around you? Yeah, I know it's just all pretend, but either way, it's it's nice to just imagine that you're actually in at, at the actual part where the set where the set is. Yeah, well, you were you were well, scary on set though for the rest <laughs> of us. That was the problem we had. How do you feel about spiders? Well, I've <laughs> <laughs> 
They're tasty. It's <laughs> <laughs> appropriate. Spoiler uh, alert. And how about you, Shauna? Are you into horror movies? Was this kind of, uh, you know, up your alley in terms of your taste in movies? I am such a scary to cat. So <laughs> I'm... I'm into horrors, but I get so afraid. Even watching this movie at certain points, I'm like, oh, would she come on? Would she come on? Like, hurry hurry up. And, you know, I just want it to be resolved. So tension for me is always, um, Lee's so great at creating tension within the movie. And I'm just like, oh, like, when can this stop? So I wouldn't be a huge horror movie fan because I I hate that tension. <laughs> but it, that's what horror is. Um, but that's why I was drawn to it as well. It was a, a genre that I wasn't really familiar with and I was excited to make that, uh, especially what it entailed within this movie, like with stunts and how physical it was and I'm being scared. What was the uh, set like for this? Is it a, a big crew you're working with and is everything kind of practical and on location here? Yeah, it was it was it was pretty compact crew wise. Like it's 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 still a you know, it's a low budget independent movie. Um mm -hmm. it was quite a tight group of people that we had, you know, there was everybody was working all the time. Mm -hmm. No no one was idle. Um and we kind of a lot of the film is set in a house, so we, we shot it on location it, that in, in a real house, um, which provided a lot of challenges because you can't move walls and you can, you know, you had to be quite clever in creating that, that atmosphere that I wanted within it. And then we were on location, we were outdoors quite a bit as well. Um and yeah, obviously, then we had our, had our sinkhole and, 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 a, and a few other places. So it was, we were on the move a little bit, but not kind of not not too much. But we tried to keep everything as pra like across the board with the film, from how we shot it, even through to the music and the sort of instrumentation we used. Tried to keep everything as practical as I possibly could. The sinkhole is visual effects, though. Some of it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We sent a guy out digging one day. No, yeah, it, it, it is. But no, there's element. There's a lot of real elements within it. So even just textures, I tried to shoot as much real stuff as I can. And there is mm. certain shots within it, like close-ups or say feet passing it by, that are actually real completely real landscape and I think the more you can you can do that the more you can kind of I suppose pull the wall over the eyes with with the CG work that mm -hmm. you do I was wondering if you guys could break down shooting one particular scene for me and it's you know a non-spoiler type thing but I was really struck by the scene with you running through the woods with just the flashlight and just the blackness around it so while you're <laughs> shooting something like that is it that pitch black feel and is it as chaotic as it feels for a viewer well, how was it for you? I guess like that was that was that was tough stuff because it was cold. Yeah, the cold was the least of your worries, but it was it's quite yeah. You're you're in a heightened state anyway. So um, with the flashlight and every every your emotions are kind of up here. But as Sarah, she's trying to keep a lid on this boiling pot of emotions so it can be quite difficult and yeah you just have the flashlight but m me personally it is that that frantic even if it is eternal it was uh, and then when you see it it felt very Blair Witchy and at times I like within the film I get jumps in in it while they're, they're it in was, the forest. It was a fun scene to cut because we we shot obviously we shot some angles on on Shauna and her reactions but we'd also just had our cameraman yeah. you, know, with, with, you know essentially with a torch just moving mm. through and we were able to find these little moments like th like where he tripped with the camera and we were like great let's put in the we went back and did some like ADR work let's get Shauna tripping and her breath changing we were able to create all this this tension around it but I think James is the hardest thing of all because you had to like you had to like be topless for like oh, a yeah. tiny little moment and it was cold <laughs> It's like get in behind a tree, take your top off, dude. Yeah. yeah. How was that? Did you not like the cold? Uh, it was very cold up in the woods, but it was bearable. Okay, that's good. He's to a hear. trooper. Yeah, I have pi a picture on my phone of him like wrapped up to here yeah. in blankets. It's just, yeah. You got to do what you got to do in yeah. these situations. Um, I was wondering, did you give them any reference films before jumping into this? I don't think in any major, I didn't say go watch this, if you know what I mean, I'd, like there's certain touch points I always have that I'll always dig back into that we, we kind of discussed. I can't remember actually, Shauna, was there anything I said like go, go watch this or go watch that? Um, yeah, there, yeah, there? Okay, kind of cool. the, the, yeah, there was, a, there was a couple on a list, but as well as that, I think when you're shooting a movie, the character doesn't know they're in a horror movie. This is just what they're dealing with in life. But it was good tonally um, to look at movies and see where Lee was pitching it. And as well, m we use music on set um, for uh, Lee to create the atmosphere for me and help me to get places emotionally and yeah, to heighten tension. So this is largely a mother-son story, but there's also a really intriguing mystery unfolding as well. And I think you strike a really nice balance Thank between you. leaving people in a satisfied place, but also not over-explaining anything. So 
What is it like for you figuring out that balance? And then did you give your cast members any specific details that maybe we don't see on screen? It's, it's painful to figure it out when you're trying to, I think we were trying to subvert the tropes as much as we possibly could. And I'm sure there's some people that'll watch the movie and want certain pieces of information I haven't given them. So what, I'd say watch it twice, because it is all in there if you really dig mm -hmm. in. There's a, there's a lot of information hiding in the shadows in that film. Um, but uh, it, was, it was tricky to do. And I think, well, for me, I, I, again, I didn't like with, with, with Shauna, uh, and even with the way we wanted the film to be was there was no like rule book there was no you know sage saying don't go into the woods or don't do this that that, that didn't exist in the film so she was you know unaware of what was coming around the corner even when it came to the monstrous stuff you'd very little idea of how that was going to be so I, I tried to conceal as much of that as possible because the idea was if you face a monster say in the real world you know you, you, you don't get a rule book you don't get the set of information you just you face it and you deal with it you either deal with it or you run away and with sarah's character she'd already been running away for a long time and then she had to come stand up and, and face her demons all right before we wrap this up we like to play a game on collider called would you rather all movie based questions so it's picking between two options and then telling me why you would choose one or the other oh no first for the two of you would you rather screw up every single take yourself or have someone else mess up your best take oh that's tough um i think i'd rather screw up my take than someone ruin my best take that's what my answer is today maybe it'll be different <laughs> tomorrow I'm just gonna go with the same as Sean because I can't make up my mind. <laughs> fair, fair reason James, James there. is unable to damage a take no matter what he yeah. does, yeah. I had a feeling that was <laughs> the one case. One take wonder. <laughs> does not surprise me one bit. Would you rather have to get in the headspace for a scary scene yourself or have your director surprise scare you? Can you repeat that again? <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather get into a scary scene yourself, like get yourself in that mood, or have Lee surprise scare you while you're shooting a scene? I think probably the first one, because it, it filling, fill, like say, filling your head with, okay, this is so scary, I need to get out of here. Like in a, say you're in a haunted house. That, that would be just like the, the experience of being on set in a, on a scary set, just you know that it's all pretend unless that you're actually being followed by a monster somewhere. Mm. There's an so, answer. Um, yeah. so it's, I There's think an that answer. first one would totally be better. reasonable right yeah. there. Would you rather have to laugh or cry in a scene? I feel like I could answer that one for you. Go on, I think then. you'd rather cry. Okay. I think you'd rather yeah, cry. Rather I think you're a good cry. crier. I think, thanks, yeah. I'm a winger. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, laughing, to get an, an authentic laugh on camera, um, that's like, yeah, that's a tricky one to do. A tough follow-up, would you rather have to fake sneeze or fake vomit on screen? <laughs> I, think, I think it would actually be more easy to fake vomit because Usually you wouldn't like you'd be on a chair maybe and you'd just be vomiting over the side the camera wouldn't actually see you vomiting just you'd have a bucket there you can make the noises no problem but sneezing then is you just have a tissue over your actual over your mouth and you have to make the no noise and then you have to I agree. Blow, like it would be easier. Yeah. To it's so um, hard to make a fake sneeze noise too. Yeah, yeah. I just don't get how people pull that off. Would you rather, Lee, have to test screen your movie or just go with your gut? I'd rather test screen. I, I, re, I, I think audience reaction is so important. And we did test this film at various rough stages, even at a really rough stage where we still had some storyboards, uh, you know, just frames of, of CG shots and stuff in there that we hadn't done. So, yeah, I, 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 would, I would always rather, rather test. Yeah, I think so. And lastly, I love horror movies. I love anything that gives me a quick fleeting thrill just for fun or entertainment, but it's something different when a movie really sticks with you and you could take it home with you. And I think that's what this achieves. But in your own words, what do you hope people walk away from the hole in the ground with? Go on, Shawnee, you can no, start first. That's, okay. <laughs> that's for you. Um, I hope they enjoy it. I hope they get to go and see it in a cinema and see it in a dark room. Um, and I think they take it, I, what I'd like to take them to take home, I suppose the, the twisted part of me wants them to, to go home and look at a loved one and just think, ooh, what if? Um, that's the thing, because I think that's, if that sticks with you, then that spreads with word of mouth. And I think with horror, if you can, if you can give somebody something to, to really take away, um, 
I, I, that would be the thing I'd like to go for, for sure. Success. <laughs> Thank you guys so much Thank for you. coming in today. It was such a treat. Thank you out there to everybody who is watching. As always, please like and share this video and keep an eye out for the hole in the ground. We'll see you soon.